You know what? I have a song called Forever Settled. Um, the Bible talks about in uh, Psalms 119, I believe it's 82, says that word of the Lord is forever settled in heaven. And there, there is nothing that is more inspiring to me than the word of God. You know, hearing it preached because faith coming by hearing and hearing the word of God or whatever you hear, you know, you put your faith in. And so for me, my first inspiration is through the word, the unadulterated word of God, hearing a preacher preach, you know, I'm reading it for myself. That is my first uh, place of inspiration. And then I'm inspired by, you know, I have a son that's 16 years old. And so I'm inspired by, um, I guess, what would be attractive to him. Um, I'm inspired to inspire him or and inspire his generation. I'm inspired by what I see in our climate, in our community, you know, what is happening, you know, different things. So for me, that inspiration causes me to have to empower and to have to inspire someone else. So when I see different things happening in our world, I gotta say, you know, listen, the word of God over your life is forever settled. Don't worry about what's coming. Um, there's a song on the CD called, So Long Bye Bye, Goodbye to My Pain, Goodbye to My Sorrow. So Long Bye Bye, because there's a lot of people that have been hurting, you know, physically, spiritually, emotionally, naturally, you know, and so this is a time, you know, where you gotta say, mm -mm goodbye to my pain goodbye to my sorrow so long bye-bye so that is how i'm inspired i'm inspired by what i hear what i see the word of god and what we see in current events and then i know that when i'm inspired or something uh, is perplexes me i know that i have to speak towards it and uh, uh um, give a word so it the circumstance could change for uh, for the person or for the believer that hears the music Thank you.